participating in an exercise called Capital Shield, and it's a large event where we train on the different aspects of uh, different investigations, both um, like just general crime scenes as well as um, hostage and that sort of thing. And a lot of the training that CID has to deal with is can be very complex training. There's a lot of steps involved, so the end goal is to do what has to be done, which is the motto for CID, and to facilitate investigations to solve the crime. And the best way to do that is to keep your skills sharp, such as we do here with the crime scene training, evidence management, and stuff like that. It's a multifaceted. So uh, part of it is uh, evidentiary and crime scene training. Part of it is crisis and hostage incident management and, and actually negotiations and scenarios, running those. So we do like individual training, team training, and then it'll culminate with an exercise. And it's all joint between active duty members of agents within the CID, active duty CID and reserve agents. I enjoy coming to these training exercises, sharing my experience, the resources that I get from being an Army CID and networking with people, both in the military and then through other local and federal law enforcement. It's invaluable, you know, to be able to help people. We're currently conducting a joint multi-agency law enforcement exercise with our local DES, our local special agents, as well as the FBI. We're conducting an active shooter scenario here, as well as a crisis negotiation incident. So this is a great opportunity for our local agents to partner and collaborate with these local law enforcement agencies uh, in a particular situation like this. It's invaluable to have this training. It's important for it because agents cover so many different aspects of the law enforcement process here, like where we're interviewing people, we're processing crime scenes, we're establishing security, we're hostage negotiators. We cover such a wide variety of topics. It's so important to just have as much training as possible because we don't specialize in anything. So and if we're doing it as often as we can, we have those people that are willing to help us out to give us the give us the bodies, give us the funding, then that makes us better at our jobs and it's less for them to worry about. It makes everybody sleep better. If you don't do it right, um, there's no going back. Once you mess up a step, once you incorrectly lift a fingerprint or you collect evidence incorrectly, uh, it can taint the entire investigation and, and someone who commits the um, crime may possibly get off from that. And so it's very important to keep these skills sharp uh, so that they can help uh, solve those crimes and, and bring resolution to uh, the victims.